I always wanted to be able to fly my micro drones with HD DVR on board. And this moment has finally arrived with the new Ramcam Split Mini. Let's quickly open the box and see what is inside. So camera comes with the board it attached to. There is another board included there. This first board it has a soft pad here and connector. Another board also has a connector and you just put one board on top of another by inserting these connectors into each other and you are getting sandwich like that. The second board has connectors marked on the label attached on top of it. Battery input from 5 to 17 volts, ground, video, RX and TX. Alright, let's see what else is in the box. So there is this foam, customer support, contact details, uh, links to download and a bag with the mount as I can see, wires and set of hardware. Split has a USB port which allows you to connect it to computer and download videos. And then uh, it also has a couple buttons which allow you to operate it. Under the bottom label there is a connector where wire from the camera goes directly to the board. Under the top label we can find slot for SD card and this USB port we've seen before as well as a microphone. Soldering pads are fairly big and uh, easy to work with. Alright, let's check the weight of the Split Mini. It comes down approximately to 16 gram. The way you insert SD card is you just push it in and it locks in the slot. I was a bit concerned at first that card may fall out in case of the crash but I didn't have this experience in my flight test so far. Interesting feature of this SD slot is that when you push it out, it doesn't really come out that easy. It kind of stuck there a little bit and then you have to apply a bit of force to actually pull it out. So this is probably something which will prevent it from falling out in case of the crash. I suggest you to be careful when you are installing this camera in your quad because in my case I pulled this wire and then it came out from the slot inside of the camera so I had a chance to open it up and check what is inside and inside this camera has pretty much nothing other than the sensor so all the logic has been moved to this board as it looks like Rankam Split Mini comes with enough of hardware in order for you to be able to install it into pretty much any frame, especially when combined with hardware which usually comes with speed and flight controller. As you can see, I already built SN2 inch with this camera and I'm really happy with the results. And uh, the way you install it um, is that uh, you use these long screws which come with um, Rankam Split Mini. You put them through the frame, uh, then you install your flight controller and speed controller. Uh, then you go with Split Mini and then you use extension standoffs and put your video transmitter on top. It's worth to note that SN2 inch has only 25 millimeters of available space. So you have to go with uh, Zeus F4 speed controller or you have to move your video transmitter elsewhere. Because split mini camera dimensions are really similar to other micro cameras we use. It fits really nicely in the latest edition of uh, S and Cage. So camera stays protected from the impact. At the same time, there is no props in the view. All right, let's watch several clips in order to get an idea about camera performance in different light conditions. First, let's check video made during the rainy day. and it's really comparable to Mobius and similar cameras. I'm not sure if it gets up to GoPro quality, but it's still really, really good. Now let's check clip made during sunset. As you can see, picture was a little bit overexposed, but it was still clear and easy to understand where you fly. At the same time, you can see that lights are a little bit too bright. 
so they can kind of shine into your eyes and confuse you for a moment. I was enjoying quality of the picture in my FPV goggles, so I wanted to show it to you as well. Please don't mind noise in the video because I don't really see it in FPV goggles and somehow I'm way commanders they always record the worst feed. As you can see the quality of the picture in FPV goggles is actually not that bad at all. Some people may disagree or have different kind of goggles and have different experience so it's only my subjective opinion of that. I actually enjoyed flying just after sunset even more than during sunset because street lights stopped bothering me and then I was able to enjoy FPV to the fullest. As you can see the picture looks dark and at the places where there is no enough light it becomes just black but other than that it's still really really nice. Let's also check camera latency now. The way it works that I'm going to record FPV feed and timer at the same time and at, at the, any moment you can pause the video and see if there is a difference in the numbers you see. So from what I observed, latency seems to be around 3 milliseconds. What do you think about this? As a conclusion of this review, I would like to say that I really like this product and it is definitely the step in the right direction for Ancam, which will help to bring more people into this hobby. You can find the link to this product in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed my video, so please leave a comment below and let me know what do you think about this new Ancam Split Mini. See ya! And here it is, a little bit of the bonus footage for you to get a better idea about the quality of the picture.